Hi everybody and welcome to this week's Tune In Tuesday. Today I'm on New Train Bay which is a beach near Padstow in North Cornwall. Now today I am on the hunt for something really really cool and if you've ever joined Beach Guardian on a beach clean you would have heard me talking about this again and again because I absolutely love it when we find these things. This is of course the mermaid's purses. Unfortunately, they aren't purses that mermaids use to put their pennies in, but that doesn't mean that they're any less cool. This is a mermaid's purse. Now, usually when I show people on beach cleans these, they think, oh, it's seaweed. And it does look a lot like seaweed, and it's supposed to. That's for camouflage, because these are actually the egg cases of sharks, skates, and rays that literally live just out there. Now, what happens is, is when you find these, you can use this really, really cool identification guide from the Sharks Trust, and they do this really great thing called the Great Egg Case Hunt. So, if you ever find one of these, which is what I'm going to talk through today, you can identify it and see what species are living just off our coastlines. So, hopefully today, I'm going to find some, I'll show you how to identify them, and then we can talk a little bit more about the species. So, let's go have a look and see what we can find. The only issue that I have now is that I came to New Train because I know that it's one of the best to have big dumps of seaweed and to have a massive strand line, which is where you usually find the egg cases. But today it seems to be the opposite of what I would usually find and there isn't much seaweed, but we'll go have a look and see what we can find anyway. Okay, so we have our first egg case. So here you can see our first egg case. And it looks a bit different to the one that I showed you at the start. And that is because it's a completely different species. So I found it in amongst all of this seaweed here. As I said, the seaweed is the best place to find it. So let's have a go at identifying this. Okay, so here's the identification key. It is to scale and super easy to use. So I have here the first egg case that we found and you can see just by moving it along which one it matches up best to. So obviously this one is way too big. If you go over here, it looks a bit more similar. So these are the cat sharks and then you can just see that it's pretty much identical to this one here. So that one belongs to a small spotted cat shark. Now, if anybody saw my video a couple of days ago with the ghost gear with the small spotted cat sharks in, this is how they started off in one of these egg cases. Once you've managed to identify your egg case, which we've just done here, well done. Next, you need to log it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep going and try and find some, identify them here. And then when I get home, I'll show you how to use the app to log your egg case. Okay, so here is our second egg case. So let's just... So you can see how it attaches itself to the seaweed. Let me just try and disconnect. We have our second egg case. And like the one we've just had, the small spotted cat shark, this one is also quite unique. And it's because of these really curly things called tendrils. And as you saw there, this is how they kind of attach themselves to the seaweed. So let's go see if we can identify this one. So if we look at our identification key again, you can move it along, but you can already see that this one is a fairly similar shape to the small spotted cat shark, and it's got the tendrils, so we know it's from a cat shark. And because it's the biggest one out of the three, I'm gonna go with the nurse hound cat shark. So we can see that that one matches up to there. Now this one is quite distinguishable because it has these thick ridges on the side, whereas the small spotted cat shark doesn't have any ridge really at all. So now we have a nurse hound cat shark and a small spotted cat shark. So just here in this rock pool, we have our third egg case. Now you can probably already tell straight away that this is the same species as our first one, the small spotted cat shark. So this is why I said that winter was particularly good for finding the egg cases. And that's because you see here, this is like a metre deep of seaweed and you can just see that so much has been washed in. So this is where we're going to find the egg cases. Okay, so looking at this now, you can kind of see how difficult it is. But here, 
is our fourth egg case and again we've identified one like this before this is the nurse hound cat shark and you can see here where it's hatched out from so that's really cool so here is another one Hopefully we're getting good at this now and we can all see that that is another nurse hound cat shark and oh in amongst that bit of a plastic bottle. Okay, now I'm back home, I'm going to show you how to log them on the app. So I'm just on the app store searching egg case hunt. And it's the one that with the sort of orange background with the egg case there and you can see what it has to offer. For me it just says open but for you it will say download because I've already downloaded it. So here I've just clicked on species and you can see all of the ones that you can identify. You can see there's, there's loads of different ones. It's really cool. Then if you go on identification tool it talks you how to take pictures of them and identify them and then preparing your egg case so lots of hints on how to identify them best then we've got um, how to hunt which I've just shown you uh, egg case diagram which is really really cool to look at and then we have egg cases underwater so now we are going to report the egg cases that we found so first thing picture it needs to have something to scale it with I've used a 2p but you can use a, a ruler or something then you need to write what beach what region and there's also a really cool navigation icon which you can click and it will pinpoint your location obviously I'm not at the beach now where I found it so you just need to move it over to where you found it at this point I always check I put all the right information in and then click submit find and it will submit it easy as that I'm just going to run through another one just to make it clear so first thing camera take a picture still using the 2p for a scale then select what species it is so this one was the nurse hound shark and then we've got beach, region, pinpoint location, check everything on there is definitely correct, and then submit. Easy. Another great thing that this app is good for is the information it has on each species. So looking at the small spotted cat shark, we've got some images here of the egg cases and then of the actual individual animal. Then it goes on to talk about the common names, distribution, appearance habitat and it says although present from the shallows to 400 meters it is rarely found below 100 meters so that's pretty cool then we have diet reproduction so here it says females reach maturity at approximately 7.9 years embryos develop for 5 to 11 months depending on sea temperature egg case and then IUCN red list assessment and this one is as leak at least concern which is great so we might as well just quickly look at the nurse hound shark what it says so we've got some more pictures there of the egg case and then the actual animal then again we've got common name distribution uh, appearance habitat this one says uh, common at 20 to 63 meters Diet, reproduction, incubation period of 9 to 11 months depending on water temperature, egg case and IUCN red list assessment is near threatened so it's brilliant that we're finding these egg cases because it shows that you know there are there are still animals out there even though they are near threatened and then if we go back up to the top we've got something that says view detailed PDF now this is really cool and it provides some great information Okay guys, so that's the end of this week's Tune In Tuesday video. I hope you've learned something new about egg cases and the species that hatch out of the egg cases. And I hope you now feel confident enough to go off and do your very own egg case hunt. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week for next week's Tune In Tuesday.